India's climate is determined mainly by its location, altitude, relief features, and the pressure and wind systems. India is situated approximately between 8 degree north and 37 degree north latitude. It falls under the tropical region, which is the belt between the two tropics. Predominantly, the climate of places located in the tropical region is hot and humid. Tropical climate is found mainly in South and Southeast Asia. India's unique physical setting imparts uniformity to its climate. India is flanked by the towering mountains in the north, which block the cold bitter winds blowing from the northern hemisphere. On the remaining three sides, it is surrounded by oceans and seas that exert a moderating influence over the subcontinent. However, due to its diverse topography, a wide range of climatic conditions that vary greatly from region to region and sometimes even from day to night, can be experienced. The climate of India is described as the monsoon type. Monsoon refers to the seasonal reversal in the wind direction during the year. The word is derived from the Arabic word mosim, which literally means season. Let us examine two important elements, temperature and precipitation, to understand the climatic variations in India. Let us look at the variation in temperature experienced in different regions in India. In some parts of the Rajasthan desert, the temperature in summers occasionally touches 50 degrees Celsius. Whereas, summer temperature in Pahalgam, in Jammu and Kashmir, may be around 20 degrees Celsius. During winters, the temperature in Dras, in Jammu and Kashmir, may fall as low as minus 45 degrees Celsius. Dras has become famous as the second coldest inhabited place in the world. On the other hand, Tiruvananthapuram may have a winter temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Certain places experience a wide difference between day and night temperatures. For example, in the Thar Desert, the day temperature may rise to 50 degrees Celsius and drop to nearly 15 degrees Celsius at night. Contrasts in temperature are experienced more in the interior of the country. On the other hand, there is hardly any difference in day and night temperatures in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands or 
in Kerala. Similarly, the precipitation or rainfall in India varies not only in its form and types but also in its amount and seasonal distribution. In the upper parts of the Himalayas, precipitation is mostly in the form of snowfall, whereas the remaining parts of the country receive rains. Annually, precipitation varies from over 400 centimeters in Meghalaya to less than 10 centimeters in Ladakh and western Rajasthan. Most parts of the country receive rainfall from June to September. However, some parts like the Tamil Nadu coast get most of its rain during October and November. There is a decrease in the rainfall generally from east to west in the northern plains. Climatic variations also affect the way people live. The food they eat, the clothes they wear, and also the kind of houses they live in. Let us now examine how the altitude and relief features influence the climate of India. In India, the elevation of land ranges from 30 meters to 6,000 meters. The Himalayan mountains to the north of India have an average height of about 6,000 meters. The average summer temperature on the Himalayas can vary from 0 degree Celsius to 14 degree Celsius. While winters can see the temperature dipping below freezing point with heavy snowfall. India also has a vast coastal area where the maximum elevation is about 30 meters. The Himalayas prevent the cold winds from Central Asia from entering the subcontinent. As a result, the interior parts of the subcontinent experience comparatively milder winters. Another good example is the Western Ghats of Maharashtra that lie between Mumbai and Pune. These affect the precipitation of both these cities. Mumbai lies on the windward side of the Western Ghats and hence gets much higher rainfall as compared to Pune, which lies on the leeward side. Mahabaleshwar, which lies at the peak of the Ghats, receives almost three times the rain that Mumbai receives. The rainfall in India is governed mainly by pressure and surface winds, upper air circulation, and western cyclonic disturbances and tropical cyclones.
India lies in the region of northeasterly winds. These originate from the subtropical high pressure belt of the northern hemisphere and blow southwards. Due to the Coriolis force, these winds move on towards the equatorial low pressure area. Recall that the Coriolis force, also known as Ferrell's law, is an apparent force caused by the Earth's rotation. This force deflects winds towards the right in the northern hemisphere and towards the left in the southern hemisphere. The northeasterly winds are land-bearing winds. Hence, they carry very little moisture. Therefore, they bring little or no rain in India. So, how does India receive its share of rainfall? The pressure and wind conditions over India are unique. During winter, a high pressure area is created in the north of the Himalayas. As a result, cold winds blowing from this region move to the low pressure areas over the oceans to the south. In summer, a low pressure area develops over interior Asia as well as over northwestern India. This causes a complete reversal of the direction of winds during summer. Winds move from the high pressure area over the southern Indian Ocean, cross the equator and turn right towards the low pressure areas over the Indian subcontinent. These winds are known as the southwest monsoon winds. As they blow over the warm oceans, they gather moisture and bring widespread rainfall over the mainland of India. The upper air circulation is dominated by a westerly flow. An important component of the flow is the jet stream. Jet streams are a narrow belt of high altitude westerly winds that blow in the troposphere. Their speed varies from about 110 km per hour in summer to about 184 km per hour in winter. A number of separate jet streams have been identified. The most constant are the mid-latitude and the subtropical jet streams. These jet streams are located approximately over 27 degree north and 30 degree north latitude. They originate from the Mediterranean region and are known as subtropical westerly jet streams. Over India, these westerly jet streams blow south of the Himalayas all through the year. In winter, they bring in the western cyclonic disturbances in the north 
and northwestern regions of India. The coastal regions of the country are affected by tropical cyclones that are part of the easterly flow. These disturbances occur during the monsoon as well as in October and November. In summer, the subtropical westerly jet streams move north of the Himalayas with the apparent movement of the sun. An easterly jet stream called the tropical easterly jet stream blows over peninsular India approximately over 14 degree north during the summer months.